so hello everyone uh, today we see the we discuss the problems in uh, equivalent weight bar sheet 2 okay so it is given the reaction h2s hydrogen sulfide with an acid nitric acid forming h2o nitrogen dioxide and sulfur i have to find the equivalent weight of sulfur so this compare the sulfur position and the reactants and products if you see so h2s becomes uh, s so one sulfur one sulfur no change here what is oxidation number of sulfur we know that uh, two hydrogens plus x sulfur oxidation number minus two here individual sulfur sulfur present in the free state so its oxidation number zero means it is minus two two zero so therefore equivalent weight of uh, h2s is its molecular weight 32 plus 2 that is 34 so minus 2 becomes 0 minus 2 becomes plus 0 means uh, here gaining of uh, losing of 2 electrons so number of electron transferred is 2 that is equal to 17 means uh, if uh, in the calculation of equivalent weight you have to compare the oxidation number of that particular element in which oxidation number change in the reactants and the products okay okay see the next one so 0 0.5 grams of uh, magnesium sorry here 0 0.5 grams of uh, magnesium when treated with the excess and acid so what is the acid is not given so excess and acid forming 465 milliliter of hydrogen gas at stp we have to find the equivalent weight of magnesium so here it is given metal and treated with the acid only we know the property of acids the property of acids is that when they react with metal they release it, releases hydrogen gas so here the information given about the metal 0 0.5 grams of magnesium metal when reacted with acid releases uh, this amount of hydrogen so we can write the formula that equivalent so far equivalence of magnesium is exactly equal to equivalence of hydrogen so equivalence means we know that weight by equivalent weight or gram equivalent weight again here also weight by equivalent weight so but here we don't know the we know the weight of uh, metal we have to find the equivalent weight of magnesium what is the weight of uh, hydrogen so weight of hydrogen so we have to find this so weight is not given so we can't uh, proceed the problem we have to find the weight of uh, this hydrogen which is given in terms of milliliter that is at stp so we know that uh, at stp any gas 22400 milliliter of hydrogen gas any gas not only this gas any gas uh, at stp 22400 milliliter occupies sorry possess its molecular weight then what about uh, 465 milliliter of h2 gas possess how much mass 465 So on this calculation, so approximately we will get 0 0.04152. So substitute, uh, so substitute that in here, substitute that here, that is uh, 0 0.04152. Equivalent weight of hydrogen, that is 1 by valence is also 1. So therefore, equivalent weight of magnesium is cross multiplication. So approximately we will get uh, two gram. So 
here see the sixth problem in the worksheet it is one gram of hydrogen is found to combine with uh, 80 grams of bromine means there is a formation of you know that hbr so this is one clue the second clue is given in the problem is uh, one gram of calcium combined with uh, four grams of bromine the final question is what is the equivalent weight of bromine so actually with the help of first clue or with the help of second clue we can do the calculation with any one of them okay so for example sorry uh, see the if you follow the hydrogen the hydrogen forms uh, with bromine hydrogen bromide actually we can say equivalence of equivalence of uh, hydrogen exactly equal to equivalence of uh, bromine so weight by weight by what is the gram equivalent weight of hydrogen means we know that one by one atomic weight by valency so equivalence of bromine means again weight by what is the equivalent weight of uh, bromine so we know that we have to find it the equivalence of bromine so simply on this calculation equivalence of weight of bromine we got uh, called 80 so this is the first case you know, with the help of second case means uh, so this is the answer equivalent of bromine is 80 it's a final but there is other information is given we can follow any one of the information here the calcium reacted with bromine how many grams of 1 grams of calcium reacted with 4 grams of bromine means here equivalence of uh, calcium is exactly equal to equivalence of bromine so calcium weight 1 gram what is its equivalent weight equivalent weight means sir uh, atomic weight by calcium valency 2 that's what is its weight bromine weight 4 grams we have to calculate the equivalent weight of bromine over here it will get uh, 20 so therefore equivalent of bromine is equal to 8 it means uh, in this problem these two informations are given okay see the seventh one an oxide of a non-metal so in this problem a metal not metal non-metal is given so in the oxide of non-metal so it found to contain 36.36 percentage of oxygen then the remaining percentage is for non-metals so we have to find the equivalent weight of that non-metal so here non-metal reacted with the oxygen means so we can write uh, the common formula that uh, equivalence equivalence of uh, non-metal is exactly equal to equivalence of oxygen okay because both reacted forming non-metal oxide both reactants cover to we can equalize their equivalence so we know that uh, weight by equivalent weight of non-metal is equal to weight of oxygen by equivalent weight of uh, oxygen what is the weight of non-metal so it is not given exactly but it is given in terms of percentage so oxygen is given oxygen is given 36.36 percent so therefore what is about non-metal non-metal percentage the it is given in terms of percentage of the remaining that is a 63. for non-metal it comes a 63.64 if you take the total compound in the 100 grams so it is having the weight uh, so we are comparing our to we can take the approx so composition percentages so weight that is uh, we are taking the six point uh, equivalent weight of oxygen its atomic weight by valency 2 So on the overall calculation, we will get uh, so it is fourteen.
can see the eighth one. So it is a uh, important one. So equivalent weight, equivalent weight of a metal is given forty. So vapor density of its chloride is fifty nine point two five. To find its atomic weight. So here the so equivalent weight of metal is given. Equivalent weight is given. We have to find the its atomic weight. So here the information given the clue is given information in terms of vapor density of its uh, chloride. So metal chloride vapor density is given fifty nine point two five. So we can write uh, the molecular weight of metal chloride. Molecular weight of metal chloride. Actually, we are unable to write the metal chloride formula because metal may be power plus two plus three. Even the gauge power plus one into MCl. Power plus two into we can write MCl two. Power plus three into we are we can write MCl three. But uh, there is uh, no information given to write the formula. So just we are writing the molecular weight of metal chloride equal to two into vapor density. You know the formula. So there is a. Uh, Fifty-nine point two five. That is the one one eight point five. So it is the molecular weight of chloride. So molecular weight of if you know the molecular weight of chloride, metal chloride. So we write uh, we know that the, there is a general formula. So take it as a case one. So in the case two, we know the general formula that uh, equivalent weight of Metal chloride is equal to equivalent weight of metal plus not equivalent. Here I am writing equivalent weight of metal plus equivalent weight of chlorine. So actually, I have to find the atomic weight and tell. So equivalent weight of metal chloride again. Uh, if we expand this, what is the formula? Molecular weight. Metal chloride is a molecule. Is a bit a. We can write the molecular weight by its valency. So equivalent weight of metal. So it is like atom already is given. Equivalent weight of metal is forty. Now, so what is it? Sorry, it is given not uh, exactly forty. This weight in the problem it is given four, not forty. It is given four. Okay. Next, so what is equivalent weight of chlorine? So general we have to uh, calculate general equivalent weight of chlorine means uh, its atomic weight by valency that is one only. Next, we know the molecular weight is also. So therefore, we can write the valency is equal to molecular weight. What is the molecular weight? One one eight point five I. Thirty-nine point five. So on this calculation, we will get exactly three. Means valency of the metal is three. Valency of the metal is three. Means sir, uh, we said we don't know the exact formula. Now means m is m power plus three. How you got means sir? Uh, with the help of molecular weight, uh, we know the molecular weight value. We know the molecular weight formula, equivalent weight formula. So with the help of that, uh, we find the Valency. So, after knowing the uh, valency, we can uh, find the atomic weight. You can take it as a case three. Okay. So, equivalent weight of metal is always what is the formula? Equivalent weight of any metal or non-metal any element. So, atomic weight by valency. We have to find the atomic weight of metal. So atomic weight of metal equals equivalent weight of metal into valency. What is equivalent weight? We know that four valency is three. So therefore, equivalent weight of that metal. Sorry, atomic weight of that metal is twelve. See the ninth problem in the worksheet. So the chloride of a metal having eighty percent of chlorine. 
so find the equivalent weight of the metal so metal formed metal chloride metal formed metal chloride means metal reacted with chlorine forming a compound so both are reacted means we can write the uh, common formula that uh, equivalence of metal equivalence of metal are exactly equal to equivalence of chlorine so equivalence of metal means weight by gram equivalent weight of metal same weight of chlorine by equivalent weight of chlorine so what is the weight of metal it is not exactly given but in, the, in terms of percentage it is given so it is having a 80% chlorine so 80% chlorine means we can say the 20% metal we are taking them in terms of uh, grams total if you take the metal chloride as 100 grams so its weight will be 20% we have to find the equivalent weight of metal what is the weight of the chlorine 80 grams equivalent weight of chlorine we know that atomic weight 35.5 by valency 1 so the equivalent weight of metal is the cross multiplication is approximately 8.9 okay so 8.875 I think in the option it is given 8.9 grams okay, see the question number 10 in the worksheet it is also a very uh, interesting problem so the 0 0.3980 grams of a metallic oxide means a metal oxide the weight is given on heating with hydrogen means a metal oxide is heated with the hydrogen forming 0 0.090 grams of water find the equivalent weight of metal so here important the metal oxide metal oxide on heating with the hydrogen forming water means uh, here water means uh, we know H2O so actually the information given about the water means nothing but the information given about the oxygen so in that metal oxide the oxygen portion is changed to water means the oxygen present in the water the oxygen present in the water is obtained from metal oxide so mark uh, the uh, water in the water form means the oxygen present the oxygen is obtained only from metal oxide because it was metal oxide was reacted with hydrogen hydrogen there is no amount of oxygen means uh, in the, the oxygen present in the formation of uh, h2o is totally obtained from metal oxide so means uh, we can compare with the metal and oxygen so actually one problem chance in the uh, we have to compare the equivalence of metal with the equivalent weight of oxygen. So equivalence of oxygen, but we don't know the we don't know the weight of oxygen. For that purpose only it is given. So actually you see. So metallic oxide formed means so we can write uh, equivalence of metal exactly equal to equivalence of oxygen so we know the weight so we don't know the weight of metal but e portion share we must know the weight by equivalent weight of metal so weight of oxygen by equivalent weight of uh, oxygen so maybe we can uh, equivalent weight of oxygen we can find but what about the weight so we don't know the weight of uh, metal we don't know the weight of metal we don't know the weight of oxygen we have to find this just we are able to do this only 
means uh, to do this calculation to know the equivalent weight of metal we have to calculate uh, the weight of metal and weight of oxygen so the weight of oxygen ke mane kichina clue endante the formation of water so here how much water is formed the formed water is uh, so there is a given uh, in terms of uh, 0.09 grams so 0.09 grams of water la man oxygen amount find out cheyali so let's take it as a case one now take it as a case two so we know that uh, molecular weight of h2 uh, from h2 we can write uh, 18 grams of water 18 grams of water contain nothing but process how many grams of oxygen in 18 grams of water lo 16 grams of oxygen 18 grams of water contain 16 grams of oxygen here yeah, how much water is produced 0.090 gram of water contain how many grams of oxygen so on this calculation we will get uh, 0.08 gram means so if you are metal oxide lone uh, oxygen grams in that time then it get 0.08 grams because oxygen metal oxide into h2o form in that time whatever the oxygen present in the metal oxide it totally comes to h2 so we get h2o lone the the amount of oxygen present in the h2o is equal to the amount of uh, oxygen present in the metal oxide can now see so the weight of a uh, you know the weight of metal oxide is equal to, we can write the uh, weight of metal plus weight of oxygen so we know the weight of metal oxide in the problem it is given how much 0.3980 metal oxide so we don't know the weight of metal actually uh, to know the calculation we have to know this already this part we know the weight of oxygen we got now we have to know the weight of uh, metal weight of metal plus weight of oxygen you got uh, 0.08 in the calculation this weight so therefore weight of metal equal so here we got 0. Three one eight grams. Okay, this is the weight of uh, metal. Now we got the weight of metal and weight of oxygen. So we substituting in equation one. So equation one implies weight of metal zero point three one eight by equivalent weight of metal. weight of oxygen by equivalent weight of oxygen so it's atomic weight by valency so it's 8 uh, so on cross multiplication the equivalent weight of metal is so the equivalent weight of metal is 31.8 grams i think uh, it is exactly in the option okay see problem number 11 in the worksheet so the molecular mass of mohr's salt mohr's salt is given 392 what is its, its equivalent weight so we know that uh, it's uh, it is given the salt so what is the formula for equivalent weight of a salt so equivalent weight of a salt is always 
formula weight or molecular weight so we can write formula weight or molecular weight by it's a charge charge the units it may be positive or negative both units are same so so we must do the molecular weight for to do the molecular weight we must do the formula so what is the morse salt formula so morse salt it is also known as ferrous ammonium sulfate ferrous ammonium sulfate its exact formula is a ferrous sulfate its ammonium sulfate with the 6h2 molecules on uh, overall this uh, molecular weights iron 56 all this calculation we will get uh, 392 molecular weight is 392 and what is the charge so what is the positive charge and negative charge both are same units what is the iron position here fe plus 2 as for four minus two. Here ammonia sir, how many ammoniums are present? Two ammoniums means two positive charge. Here again one more sulfate is there as for four minus two. The H two O we know that there is no charge on it. Means what are the positive charges? This is plus two. The plus ions are to total four positives. Salt is having four positives, also having four negatives. Means uh, therefore. The equivalent weight becomes uh, so equivalent weight of Morse salt three ninety two by what is its charge? It's a four. So thirty six. Uh, Ten ninety eight grams. So we have to remember this formula. Always, it is not given in the problem. Okay, see, it's a fourteenth in the worksheet. The equivalent weight, the equivalent mass of H three phosphoric acid, H three PO four is given forty nine. What will how it behaves? How it behaves means, uh, so it's uh, we have to know right about its basicity. So generally, its basicity is how much H three PO four able to can release three H plus ions means generally its basicity equal three. But here separately it is given its equivalent weight is equal forty nine. So equivalent weight of H three PO four is given forty nine means what is the molecular weight? So ninety eight by. So generally we write for acid that we take we write it as a basicity. So the equivalent of a value is given exactly forty nine. So therefore, we can. What is the basicity? Basicity of uh, this is only two. Means uh, it works as a. Therefore, here H three P O four. Here H three P O four. Works as. Di basic, di basic. As even it is having the possibility uh, to make its base C T three, but uh, based on the reaction condition, based on the other species, uh, it's showing base C T two. See the next important one. For three grams of an oxide of a metal, convert to chloride. Means a metal oxide is con totally converted to metal chloride completely. And it yielded means it is given five grams of chloride only. Given five grams of chloride, so equivalent weight of uh, metal is what? We have to find the equivalent weight of metal. So here important uh, see. 
and oxide of metal means uh, here the reaction is a uh, metal oxide totally converted to metal chloride okay so metal chloride will convert time so here 3 grams of metal oxide converted to 5 grams of metal chloride so their information only about uh, metal oxide and metal chloride so means we can equalize so we can equalize the equivalence equivalence of uh, metal oxide equal to equivalence of metal chloride so weight by metal oxide means equivalent weight of metal plus equivalent weight of oxide or oxygen same weight of metal chloride by equivalent weight of metal plus equivalent weight of chlorine so here important thing what is the weight of metal oxide we know that so what is the metal chloride also we know that so weight is uh, 3 grams by equivalent weight of metal we have to find so equivalent weight of oxide equivalent weight of oxide means what is its uh, molecular weight so 16 by 2 we know general oxygen so what is the weight of uh, metal chloride so 5 grams so metal plus equivalent weight of chlorine means atomic weight by what is valency Cl minus 1 because it's only 1 so in the last worksheet uh, we done this type of problem On the class multiplication, so we will get uh, 3 equivalent weight of metal plus uh, 106.5 is going 5 equivalent weight of metal plus uh, 40. Okay. So, just on the simplification. So the equivalent of metal we got 33.25 Okay, see a simple problem So a tetravalent, its valence is given 4 So element has molecular weight 124 It reacts with the 3 atoms of chlorine What is the equivalent weight of metal? So we know the equivalent weight of any element Metal is also an element. Equivalent weight of uh, any element is equal to its atomic weight or uh, given in terms of uh, molecular form over the molecular weight uh, by valency. Okay, so valency is given exactly 4. So I have to write the 4 only. In terms of acidity, basicity, maybe we can change it. Okay. But in terms of valency, we can't change the formula. See the 19th of the worksheet. The equivalent weight of uh, in the reaction is so here the particularly reaction is given. In the question itself, given the reaction. So we have to find the equivalent weight of H3PO4. So 
So for normal, we know that the equivalent weight of uh, acid, so HDPO4 is acid. So equivalent weight of an acid is equal to always its molecular weight by basicity. We know that the basicity can be changed. Basicity can be changed in the reaction. So here HDPO4 general actual molecular weight is equal to 98. So what is the basicity in this particular reaction? So actually basicity we define as the number of H plus ions replaceable. Here actually it has a three number of H plus can be replaceable but uh, only one hydrogen is already there so only two hydrogens are replaced. The two H plus ions are replaced by one calcium plus two. I mean there is only replacement of two H plus ions so its molecular weight uh, by it becomes two only because uh, so because uh, Here only 2 H plus of H3PO4 are replaced by 1 calcium plus 2. Even it is having the base CD3. In this particular reaction, only 2 hydrogens are replaced. That's why its base CD is taken as 2. So here we can say it acts as a dibasic acid in this problem, in this reaction. We will see the 21 of this. So, 32 grams of oxygen, it's also simple, 32 grams of uh, oxygen is equal to how many gram equivalents? So directly uh, we can do so but with help of formula we have to know the procedure. So what is the gram e equivalent nothing but gram equivalent both are equal. So equivalence gram equivalence both are equal but equivalence equivalent weight is different. Here gram equivalence means what is the formula? So, gram equivalence, gram equivalence means uh, weight by gram equivalent to weight. Okay, so 32 grams of oxygen, now how many equivalents are present? So, gram equivalence is equal to, so weight how much? 32. What is the equivalent weight of uh, about oxygen? 16 by 2. So, here. 4 gram equivalents are present in 32 grams of uh, oxygen. Okay, see the last problem in it, uh, this is 24. So, the weight of, uh, we have to find, weight of 0 0.5 gram equivalents. So, exactly use this formula. 0 0.5 gram equivalence sulfuric acid is is dash so we will same uh, use the same formula so gram equivalence is given 0 0.5 we have to find the weight what is the gram equivalent weight that is 98 for sulfuric acid we know that so therefore, the weight of sulfuric acid is So this is the completion of uh, worksheet 2 Actually it's a worksheet 5 but the equivalent weight worksheet is 2 For any other problems, if you don't know the any other problems in the worksheet So just write on the comments, okay